Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In today's video, I want to share with us a recipe you can do before going for an interview, before going to your business environment, before going to see anyone to beg for favor or to ask for help. But in case you're training for the first time or you're seeing my face for the first time, you're highly welcome. Kindly follow the channel by hitting the red subscribe button. That is the only way you can be a subscriber. Follow me on Facebook at Solution Empire. Follow me on TikTok at Solution Empire 01 so that you learn everything you need to know about spiritualism and how to fast track things in your life. So without wasting much of our time, I want to talk about this. You know, many people always come to me that they want to get promoted in their place of work. They want to get employed. They want to, uh, they want favor from people, or nobody favors them, nobody likes them, nobody want, don't want, nobody wants to help them. So I'm here today to share with you what you can do if people don't help you, if people don't favor you. You want to go for a job interview, you want to go for promotion, you want to ask somebody for favor. You have a business and you don't make sales. When somebody enters your shop and asks you how much you sell a particular product. When you tell the person, the person will say, we'll go to another place and buy it at a more expensive price without buying from you. After watching this video, anybody that enters your shop or that needs that thing you sell in, in your environment will come to you. Okay? Another thing you can use this if you're a contractor and people will call you to get your quotations at the end of the day, they will disappoint you. By the grace of God, this video is going to help you a lot. Then if you have people that are supposed to help you financially or otherwise, and each time you meet them, they will, prom they will keep promising you and failing you. This video is going to help you to end promise and fail in your life and equally open your ways. If you are going for an interview, be it a job interview, visa interview, document interview, after watching this video, you'll be able to go successfully and come back happily. So the first thing you are going to get from me is your cinnamon. This is my cinnamon stick. Look at how the powder one looks like. Okay, this is the powder cinnamon. This is the powder cinnamon. This is how it looks like. How to get the powder cinnamon? I usually buy the stick one, then blend to get the powdered one. In that way, you'll be able to be sure you'll be sure that you are actually using cinnamon. For those that will keep asking me, where can you get cinnamon? People that sell baking things, people that sell flour, uh, all these things, all these things they use in baking bread, chin chim and all that, they sell cinnamon. Even people that sell uh, spices, they equally sell cinnamon. So another thing you are going to be needing for this recipe is sugar. Yes, these are the two ingredients you are going to need for this particular recipe. If you are going for an interview, just get your cinnamon and sugar, add it to your baking water, add it to the cream you are applying that morning. Let me assume you get your cream, add it in your hand, then mix that sh a little sugar and cinnamon to it, apply it on your body, most especially your face. You can equally add a little of it in your mouth, under your tongue, just a little sugar and a little cinnamon under your tongue. So that whatever I say to the interviewers, they will grant it for me. They will hear my voice and do exactly my wish. Everything they are going to do will be at, uh, for my for me, not against me. Okay? Any kind of interview, be it visa, job interview, just do as I instructed. Add to your betting water number one. Use it to bath. As you're bathing, begin to pray that as you go to meet these interviewers, they are going to favor you. Once you go there, your body, everything about you will be as sweet as sugar. You get attracted to them. Okay? Any marks covering your face, covering your glory, you will remove it today with this cinnamon and sugar. Put a little under your tongue and repeat your prayers that whenever I speak, they will listen to me. And even when I'm saying nonsense, the nonsense will be sounding well in their ears. By the grace of God, you'll be granted that document, that visa, that job. This is very simple. Another way you can use it, if you are going, if you have a shop, you want to go to your shop, you don't make sales, people come, ask you prices and go to another place to purchase. 
kindly put this inside your bathing water every morning cinnamon and sugar pray on it that any your shop will attract all the good customers in that locality anybody that wants to buy that thing you sell within that your environment must come to your shop wherever they are from the east from the west from the north from the south you command them to come and buy from you okay the, the, your shop will be the only shop they will see that product and like it any other place they see they will not like it okay then you can equally put it under your tongue so that when the person comes and interacts with you anything you say to the person the person will believe you and please don't sell limitations because it scares customers away there are some people why they are not making sales today because they sell fake somebody will order another thing you give you give that person another thing it kills business so as you're doing these spiritual things make sure you're doing the right thing don't just use this my recipes to sell bad market to people no it's going to backfire because when they come when they buy that day they will not come again but when you give them what they want they will come back again okay then another way you can use it if you do any kind of business apart from buying and selling, there are people that so close there are people that supplies materials to people Please always bath with this and pray for your customers. Tell God to open the oil. Let your customers sell the ones you supply to them. If you're a teller or a seamstress, let your customers have more money to sew. Because if your customers don't have money to buy clothes, there is no way you can sew. So these are, the, these are ways to pray. You don't only pray for yourself to make customers. Pray for your customers to have money so that they buy materials and be able to sew. Okay, so as you're praying for yourself, equally pray for your customers. I personally pray for my subscribers. If they're prosperous or they prosper, it, it gives me joy. Yes, I have a way of benefiting, so I pray for my subscribers. I don't only pray for myself. Another way you can use this, if you're due for promotion and you feel like going to, uh, you don't want to apply for the promotion, please bet with this and say your wish. Call the name of the company which you work with. And tell them that whoever that is responsible for your promotion, he or she will never have rest until he or she recommends you for promotion. You can, when you want to ask for favor from people, please bet with it. Call the person's name you want to ask the favor from. As I'm using this to bet, whatever that will make you not to listen to me, I wash it off from my body. Then you put a little under your tongue. So that when you call the person on phone, the person will be able to give you listening ears. For those of you that have asked me, what of test message? Yes, when you're betting, you say whatever you want. As I'm going to test this person, he or she will assist me. Okay, even if he or she uh, doesn't have the ability to assist me, let he or she direct me to whoever that will assist me. This is very simple, but very, very powerful. Try it and make sure you share your testimony under the comment section or on my WhatsApp number. I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one. Bye-bye.